when we look at the number of people who have eye problems and the demographics of our population, the need for ophthalmologists is going to continue to increase for the next couple of decades, but the number of ophthalmologists is not. So if we can extend the careers of the ophthalmologists that we have, we're going to do a better job of taking care of our population's ophthalmic needs. You know, I, I think that uh, having a chair that supports the best ergonomics of the back, I can't even guess how many years it might add to a surgeon's career. Having my colleagues have tools to keep themselves in better shape and take better care of themselves and their patients, well, that's just like taking care of family. My first few years in practice, I didn't really pay as much attention to ergonomics. And when I would come home after a long day of surgery, my wife would look at me and she'd say, surgery day, huh? You look exhausted. When I was trained to do surgery as a resident, we were trained to work elbows out. It puts a lot of stress on the muscles of our neck and our shoulders. And that's one of the places where most neck problems will occur is from the muscles that lift the elbows up and out. It also puts our wrists in a position where we don't have much flexibility. The narrower back allows me to rest my elbows down by my side, and then my elbows are unimpeded by the back of the chair. And what I also found is that it improves the ergonomics of my wrist positioning and my hand positioning so that I have full flexibility in all directions, and it actually improves the quality of the surgery that we can do for our patients. The back support and comfort is by far and away the most important piece that ties all of the other beautiful things about this chair together. The back of this chair is designed to provide support all the way from the lower spine up through the lumbar region and up into the thoracic spine, but doing so without encumbering any of the movement of the shoulder girdle or the elbows in the process of the surgery. The chair is particularly important in accommodating for ergonomics because it allows us to adjust up, down, front and back, and even adjusting the back rest up and down for where our lumbar lordosis hits the back of the support. And those things are really critical for us to adjust as a surgeon. We need to adjust the chair to the shape of the surgeon and then adjust the patient's height accordingly. The beds are all adjustable. We actually have gradations on all the adjustments so that when the surgeon first obtains the chair, they can find out exactly what the best comfortable position for them is for each of these adjustments. And at the beginning of the day, the OR personnel can adjust the chair to that surgeon's settings and they can start their day comfortable. They don't have to readjust for the first case or any other cases. They just have the chair already set because those numbers are inscribed into the design of the chair. The foot pedals are interesting. One of the things that we wanted to ensure with the foot pedals is that they did not impede our ability to roll the chair around if we needed to change our position and we wanted to make sure they were easy to actuate and easy to lock, but also not interfering with each other. So we did go through a number of iterations before we decided on the current positioning. But once you get used to the better positioning and the better ergonomics, there's nothing like it. 55% of ophthalmologists have been diagnosed with serious neck and spine disease. Up to 15% of ophthalmologists in some studies have had to curtail their professional activities as a result of neck and spine disease. And that's a big deal. If our ergonomics aren't right and we're sitting either hunched too far forward or if we're not uh, having our spine supported, it can be really uncomfortable. Part of it is selfish. I want to be comfortable. Part of it is that uh, I like to help my colleagues. I want them to be comfortable. Then when I started paying attention to my ergonomics and my chair and my head and body positioning and microscope positioning, now I come home at the end of the day and my wife says, you look very refreshed, was it a surgery day? <laughs>